Hey everybody, I'm Nick with Technic, and in today's episode we have a double feature from Razer, the Goliathus mouse pad and the Mamba Elite gaming mouse. Let's take a look. So, in honor of the Mamba himself, Kobe Bryant, we're wearing Lakers attire today for this video. So the Mamba and the Goliathus gaming Hat. Unrelated, I guess, a chance to throw back to Kobe, we're going to do it, right? We've looked at a couple of Razer products. Matter of fact, when we fire these up, we'll grab the Black Widow Elite from Razer, the keyboard, and put with these two items as we test them here. First, the Goliathus Extended Chroma mouse pad. We've got some stickers, which you know I'm a sucker for. This thing is rolled up in here nice and neat. So the box is now empty, and all we have here some instructions a nice cardboard cone came in here to keep the shape of the mouse pad from bending or warping it's also uh, you know for any children like my age or younger this is a great thing you know you get, hey can you do that James Bond intro it's just got this sleeve on it to again the name of the game here it's keeping the shape then this thing is gonna unroll and let's see the behemoth I'm sorry, the Goliathus that this is. Um, just what Razer says are some of the features is a micro textured cloth surface. So this is speed and comfort, uh, the, the material here. And I will say that it, it, that, that is, uh, there's no resistance, no friction to that at all. That is a very gl gliding, a surface very capable of gliding across. If I were Greg Luganis, I would put on skates and blade this thing up. A non-slip rubber base is going to keep this from shifting across your desktop. It is, again, powered by Razer Chroma, so customizable lights up to 16.8 million variations of color displayed in the LED ring around the edge of this mouse pad. So, Nick, you know what? This is some good advice for you. Just shut up and use the product, okay? We talk too much. Some of the other mats that we've looked at aren't quite as strong as they get away from this power supply. It doesn't all look to be consistently lit. I will say that by the time I'm in this corner, it's very bright. It looks a little bit stronger on this side, but I think that's normally the case with these on any of them that we've looked at anyway. I would put it on purple or gold since we're now ready to move beyond the Goliathus to the Mamba Elite. This is a hardwired mouse, so you're not having to worry about battery power. And again, like you see with the Razer products, they like to tout this. They test these beforehand quite strenuously. This thing is geared to 50 million clicks life expectancy. 50 million. More impressive than that is that there is a machine somewhere right now tirelessly clicking this thing like it's ordering, I don't know, Girl Scout cookies or something. That's how I order Girl Scout cookies. So let's open it up. Just as a side note, I'm getting information from Nate over here. You can actually order cookies from Girl Scouts online. This so, video was not sponsored by Girl well Scouts. Well done, people at the Girl Scouts of America or whatever it is. So as we slide this out of the box, ultra simple packaging here. Very simple little harness there. The plastic here, a little less simple. You need to have graduated kindergarten to get into this product. I clearly have not done so. Just grip it and rip it, Ricky Bobby. That's the answer to life right there. Just grip it and rip it. I don't think Ricky Bobby ever says grip it. He just did. I'm now gonna, it's in the I'm annals gonna, of history. I'm going to reach out to him. You're well, right. you know what? In all fairness, he did that to uh, Queen Elizabeth. or No, no, no. Uh, Queen Elizabeth? No. Uh, what did Ricky Bobby do to the queen? Uh, Roosevelt's wife. Roosevelt's wife. Where are you? Are you okay right now? Remember, it's like, America needs hot, nasty speed. And then the quote was by Eleanor, Eleanor Roosevelt. We're having a history lesson right here. Mom, <laughs> so the mouse is plugged up and immediately you see the chroma taking over. Congratulations, there is no turning back. And that is probably true, especially for the way that John orders Girl Scout cookies now. We also have a set of instructions and another set of stickers. Now, between these two items, I am now heavily stuck. I mean, I do like those. It's got me a little powered by Razor Chroma. I don't know where, where, where 
can you do something for me? If you're watching this video and you've made it this far and you don't think that we're just the biggest idiots that ever lived, or that's the only reason you watch, we're okay with that too, honestly. Can you tell me where you put these? Can you put in the comments below, what, what do you do with these? Because I just stack them up. I've got stacks, literal stacks of stickers that like I feel anxiety if I remove one and then it's like, an, like it's not a complete sticker set or something. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. I don't know if I like collect enough of them. I turn them in and get free product. I, I don't know. All right, so let's remove this plastic film so we can start using the mouse. Let's we'll see if we can get the sound of this. <laughs> so, wow. This is worth mentioning. This mouse pad is so large. I just want to say, I just want to point this out that, I mean, you're going to need a sizable amount of desk here. This is not, if you have a small little gaming area, stay away from the Goliathus. This is going to wreck your space. It's going to be hanging off like a, don't, if you're using a nightstand as a gaming table, don't go with the Goliathus. But otherwise, this, this big area here, nice and smooth, I'm going to tell you that the mouse is extremely responsive and comfortable. That is very, very smooth. A lot of gaming mouses that I use, I can tell immediately, and, and I'm a little bit of a wimp here, but I had a hairline fracture a few years ago, and it still bothers me. And I can know within seconds if, if I'm going to have uh, comfort, if I'm going to have to be pulling my hand off of that thing or not. Okay. The Mamba Elite here is contoured for business. This thing is comfortable. It's like the right angle for my, I don't have large hands, I don't think, but that fits very well. Scroll wheel on the top. Is rubberized. It's also it's got this like little clicky feel to it. Feels really good. You've got a section or a selection here of side buttons over by the thumb. You've got other options here, and obviously our left and right click. Out of the box is a really good speed. I don't know. I mean, I do normally have to go in and slow these down. Oh, it does. Preset. Nate coming in for the win. Their program you could probably go and set your own. So the buttons here on the top are allow me to change with just a click the mouse speed. My comment was about to be that out of the box, the speed of this mouse was absolutely brilliant. Um, you can actually change that right here with a click up. It obviously makes the make much more responsive, a much faster mouse movement. Um, a couple of clicks here and you're moving at about goofy speed. I wouldn't recommend going down, at least from where it was in the box for us when we started. Now, you know, just quickly, just because I want to see it, can you grab the Black Widow? I just want to get an overhead shot here of what we could be working with. So we'll just snap these in very quickly. Now, don't judge me for the cabling. Just wanting to give you an idea here. A beautiful, large profile gaming pad. LED lit with chroma all the way around, chroma on the keyboard, chroma on the mouse. These can all be worked together here and customized together. The mouse can run right off of the USB port here seamlessly, all integrated because USB hookups are going to become an issue when you're having all of this type of peripheral running here, okay? So that's a nice feature here. Your keyboard's meant, or your mouse, I'm sorry, is meant to go straight in through the keyboard. I can also run sound out of this keyboard that's paired all through the system. So if you're looking to put this together exactly like we have here, this setup here, this beautiful area we have here of chroma illumination, chroma vision, um, the keyboard, the Black Widow Elite, $169.99, the Goliathus gaming pad coming in at around $59.99, it looks like right now between Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart, and the Mamba Elite coming in at the Mamba Elite coming in at $79.99. So I can't do the quick math, but maybe John will and he'll put it on here to have this exact setup here. So not only do you have the cool aspect, you got high performance equipment here from Razer. I know we're not reviewing the keyboard, but that's an 80 million click device. Wow. I don't know how many glides you get on your Greg Luganus ice pad here, but I'm assuming it's going to be in the millions as well. That's a millions and millions and millions of things. I don't think I can do that many things. Okay. I am telling you, post-apocalypse, find the studio. These will be sitting here perfectly mint. These will be cherry. They will outlive my children's children. And that is what we're looking for in a product. So Razor, well done. I love the customization. I love the look and the feel of this. I'm excited to use them. And we'll put all the information below so that you can look at these and see if this is something worth adding to your setup, okay? Again, these are not on the entry level. This is higher end gaming uh, peripherals. 
that it's not going to be for everybody and that's okay but if you're looking to take it to the next level this is where we recommend that you start great products from razor nod to kobe as always mamba coming through in the clutch and razor did the same i want to thank you guys for watching the video and supporting the channel make sure you give us a like and subscribe tell everybody about us i'm nick with technic catch us next time Thank you.